Superstars in the building. My name is Heaven Mozart. You're tuned in. This is Afro Vibes Radio and this is the Tea Club. I got the king of Africa in the building today. Shout out to world renowned celebrity. That's right. Man's heart. Man's heart. Man's heart. Fire! It's Alibaba in the building. That's right, right here in Houston. America will never be the same. But Africa's king is here. That's right. King Joffrey. How are you today, sir? Salute. So oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on the show. That's right. Anyway, you guys know Vic Slim. That's right. Mac Daddy Attack in the building. That's right. Yeah. Ladies, we were Vic. That's right. He's single and hot. <laughs> and hot. And hot. Man's hot. All of us are hot in the building. That's no. right. Errol Dorn. That's right. My new co star. That's right. Raga Shanti's meant to be here. World. Raga Shanti is not even up from bed yet. That's how bad. She, yeah, she has a hangover. That's right. From the concert last night. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I got a new, a new co host for you. Look at it. That's right. Errol Dorn. Show it off. Show it off. Stand, please stand, Woo! please. Look at blap, blap. Mm -mm. Attackers, defenders, uh. on fleet fleet. Uh. That's right, mommy's on. <laughs> Fire! Leg out. Eldon, we'll get to you. Eldon has no panties on today. Uh. Yes. No I panties, do. no bra. She uh. said, uh, the king of Africa is coming. That's right. I'm going to get a check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to wear any panties. Uh. You see what you're doing already? <laughs> right, Shanti's missing on this, but Alibaba's here because he's got a big show in Houston on Sunday. We'll have a show on Sunday. That's tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. That's, tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. And and, and uh, I heard the name of a place is called uh, Baby Premium. Yes. Yeah, Baby's Baby, Premium. Baby's it sounds like a pimp house, though. Baby's, <laughs> baby's Premium. <laughs> yeah, Baby's Premium. Yeah, all your babies yeah. come in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> For the adult babies. Adult uh, babies. I guess so. <laughs> I heard it's a black no, 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 It has to be adult Sugar babies. You know, R. Kelly yeah. is going in. Okay, sorry. The, oh! oh. <laughs> R. Oh, Kelly getting locked up. <laughs> We're the tea club. That's right. We're going to spill the tea. But before we do it, we have a tradition over here. Welcome okay. to Houston. This yeah. is the tradition. Dear Mr. Africa King. King of Africa, yes. king of everything in Africa, king of real estate, <laughs> king of the banks, king of everything. Buari's king. <laughs> That's right, king of everything Politics. and comedy. Alibaba, do you solemnly swear and promise to spill the whole tea and, and nothing, nothing but, but the tea? tea. That was easy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I promise to. Oh, leg out. Right. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> that's right, that's yeah, right. Take a sip. So I know Eldon has all these questions like, I know she wrote them down. Let me let me take a look. Are you single? How much money do you have in your bank account? That's right, Eldon that's wants to. Question. Question. It's not a real question. Okay, all right. So, 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 <laughs> 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 if it gets too tricky, can I plead a fifth? Mm. No. no, it's a tea club. No. Oh, no, it's, it's like we're like little kids <laughs> drinking tea. We're playing tea. <laughs> <laughs> playing house. Yes, we're playing house. That, that's right. So you know, we we leave all formalities over. No, no, no problem. I'm good. So how long have you been in comedy? Thirty-one years. Thirty-one years. Is your first time like performing in America? No, no, no. no. In Houston. In Houston. Not the first time in Houston. I've been here for OTC. Like oh. Chat OTC, oh, cut us a check. Yeah, yeah, OTC, we just shouted you out. Uh, oil money. That's right, oil money. <laughs> I got lots of questions to ask, so really? Eldon, ask him. I have, I'm not really sure what to say. Where did you come up with the name Alibaba? You know it's okay. like. Okay, no, no, no. My, my, my real names are Alleluia. Oh. Okay. Because I was the first son to a man who was looking for a son. Oh. Okay. And so after several girls, and he had me, he was like, Alleluia, finally. I have a son, oh. but then in school, you know, your name can be Joseph, and mm -hmm. you're called Joe. So Alleluia was shot into Ali, and when I started doing show business, it became Alibaba. Anyway. You know that like to the name us Ali girls, Baba. Like, we can get our bundles and stuff from you. Is, do you have the bundle look like? Because <laughs> that's the way. The man, the man doesn't sell hair, Errol Dog. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, need we, I need I need Alibaba extensions. Chinese guy. No, no, no. We need it from you. Alibaba from extensions. Our hey. 
You don't need a visa, this is little Africa. You don't need a visa, you just show up. Just walk in the airport like, yeah, where are you going? Houston, okay. Yeah, that's fine, no problem. Or you, I we'll drop you off on the last, we'll drop you off on the last bus stop. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, but, but, but it, it's, it's good. Whatever you want, we, we, we can sort it out. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. As long as it's not the money we'll give to Tasha. No, 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 we're not giving her anything. No, we're not giving, no, no. We're not giving, we're not giving her 50 million. 60 million, actually. No. It was 60? Yeah. Jesus. I thought it was 50. And she because was thinking about it when she went yeah. into that fight. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's it's crazy. That is, that's massive. Like. Alibaba, so I know you're going to crack jokes on Sunday, and I can't wait for your show. Are you going to talk about South Africa? Are you going to talk about that xenophobe? Where they're chopping off Nigerians. I'll talk about everything. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask people to just write just anything and I'll make a joke out of it. Wow. So That's it's lit. It's like, it's going to be freestyle. Yeah. Hands yeah. So on. just, on, okay. so on just, the just chuck something down, anything the microphone, the remote control, the teacup, anything. Yeah. And, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. That's experience. <laughs> okay. Complete freestyle. Well, Alibaba then, since Alibaba's on, Alibaba's like, he's like five. Five or five right now. He's shooting. Mm. He's got shots. And no guys live. Guys live. So quick question, you know, so did you pay CNN to do those interviews on you? I did not. But I figured that my thirty years of uh, being in the They just came knocking on your door like yeah. uh, Called, you know, I thought it was they called you. How did they get your mobile number? Uh, I thought it was a booking for an event because the guy called and said, uh, "Is this Alibaba?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Would like to see you." I said, "So what is it about?" And he said, oh, "We're from CNN." I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, right." <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. He said, "He said uh, no, we, we've been following your career and you think that." Um, did that sound scary? We've been following your career. Yes, it sounded like uh, some. CSI kind of thing. Yeah, you know, like, I said, oh, I said, oh, come they on. And I they came good. over. Uh, we, we first had a meeting. And after that meeting, then they came for the interview. Did they cut a check? No, Fetch. they didn't sign some... Uh, after they did? No, some media thing that, that they could use all the interviews. How they for their own expansion. Yeah. They put some ads in it too. I saw some, some indemnity ads. form or something yeah, like they that. They put like yeah. ladies' panties for Aerodon inside of it. Where is this man from? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I don't know so where any today. Ellis. Ellis. Is it because of you? Like she normally wears undies, but she's like, no, it's the African king of comedy. My curves got a show. Oh, okay. No, they're two different things. There's their undies and their panties. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which one do you like? I don't know the one he's talking about. Me. I'm just talking about ladies' undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> That Aerodon has none on today. I do. They're just like really invisible. Like uh -huh. Invi exactly. <laughs> Edibles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, CNN, CNN did you? I, I thought they did uh, did us did us proud by obviously highlighting you. I thought that was fantastic, but uh, yeah, but they gave you three series, a documentary. But it was the second time. That really? Was CNN, uh, because uh, the first one was uh, on this this last one they had was African Voices. And then they had one before, on, uh, I think 2010. Wow. So they gave one before in 2010. So, um, they, and that one was a political interview. They were asking why I was doing political jokes. You know? Right. So, so that was just. Do those political jokes, do they go well in Africa? Yes, they did. So if you thought, like, oh, Gwari, you're so skinny. Let me tell you a story. Yeah. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> You're so skinny. But <laughs> like what happens when they say that? Like, does he get? Does he, does he frown a face no. if he's in the audience? No, no. He's he's his ability to take in the jokes will be very small, so he won't get it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Man, for shut down. Oh, Africa King talking. Facts. It was your way it just it goes over his head like this. What happened? What happened? What happened? Here comes another one. That's why you are the king of comedy. That's why you're coming to Houston. That's why. That's why you're taking over. That's right. No, but but but. But that's what you said I should say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Cry. <laughs> we got the tea club. Alibaba's in the building. Man's on fire. That's right. Alibaba, so how many girlfriends do you got? Ten. Wow. You see, ever done? Seriously? Yeah. You see? And, and still happily married. That's right. And yes. still happily married too. How about that? That's right. Shout out to all my Nigerians doing that religiously and well. You know we're always on fire. That's true. No one's counting. You, you go higher than ten. You you're still looking, or is the doors closed? Yeah, no, no, no. Opportunities are always <laughs> revolving. <laughs> oh, so when you, when when they come knocking, you come answering. You know, I'm, 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 you know, a lot of people chase me. Yeah. I don't know how to run. I, 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 I don't know how to run. That's, that's, that's a good, I, said, I like that. That's yes. the smoothest line I've ever heard, ever. I'm learning thing. today. <laughs> they chase me, hey. and I just don't run. <laughs> Uh, what's his I name? don't run! MCPC said wisdom, right? Wisdom. Wisdom. So he has the wisdom. My man's got freestyle jokes. Shout out to the king of African comedy, Ali Baba, in the building. Man's hot. Ali Baba, what, what's your dress code for to, uh, uh, tomorrow? I'm, I'm wearing a, I'm flying a shirt and a waistcoat. That's right. That's what I'm we'll talking about. Okay, no it's all pants. Versace too. What the pants is a given. Oh, I was just wondering. You didn't say that. You said pants and You better be careful, Mr. Alibaba. Okay, okay. Dawn is a widow. Black widow. She'll take you down, bro. She'll take you down. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get into this widow. Those curves ain't for did nothing. You, did, you, did you benefit from it? Did you cause it? The widowhood, did you cause it? Did you... Did you make the man go away? Yeah, lick those lips. Uh -huh. no, oh my god. No, no, nothing like that. I'm just He really died of natural causes. Uh. <laughs> 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 how, how, how did he go? How did he go? Let us know, Harry You put yourself in it. Not an investigation. Take yourself He's out. In the process of leaving at the moment. So you know it's it's kind of hard for him. But I still have questions for you. We're not talking about me right now. Okay, right. So how many of these little girls you have running after you? Say you got ten girls. They're all tell her. They're all no, sure no, about. No, no, no art kind of. Food, no, no. They're uh, all gonna be at the what's the name? It's a, it's a, a baby's it's a no premium club. Front line, yeah. lined up cheering for you, huh? Forty-five and above. Cheering. I I mean numbers, not age. Forty-five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Number nine. laughs> <laughs> Why are you interrogating I mean, about his girlfriend life in it? Like, <laughs> just put in an I application. I've never heard I mean, someone say intern, intern. smoothly. Like, when they ask how many yeah. girlfriends you got, 10? Right. Yeah, it's, 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 man's all... Fire! They call him the African king. He can't just have one. He's second nature now. He's, he's so, I hope you're taking care of all 10 of them, right? Of course. Of course. Right? Wholesale bundles, too, from Alibaba or no? <laughs> No. <laughs> You're not getting any weaves out of this. I'm really trying, huh? No I need a new She's like, uh, this bundle's fresh, but it'll be done in a week. I need to get a new one real quick, any way possible. Shout out to my ladies who are wearing weaves. Alibaba, I know you're the African king of comedy and king of the whole entire Africa. So who is the comedian that you hate the most? The one that you're not going to let into your show. The one who's not going to stand on stage with you. Oh, you got to spill the tea, bro. Wait, I, the tea? There's some DJs right now that I will not even let. That will Look the door. Uh-oh. Blow! Oh! The man's a dead man walking. He's still shooting at him. <laughs> <laughs> kicking the poor guy. Like, Bill, Bill. Bill. You asked him. You're trying to take... Yeah, well, Alibaba just what, took over what, Bill what, Cosby's spot. to be honest, right? But I think, you know, it would be nice to have, like, a Bill Cosby show, you know, like, African style. Yeah, and the soundtrack would be locked up in the... No! Fire! Alibaba shooting everywhere! That's right. Shout out to Aiko, we just played your song, Curse Your Chat, with a team club. <laughs> Shut us up! <laughs> oh my god. Wow. But honestly, are you serious that no comedian in the in the African, in the Nigerian scene? What about basket mouth? You oh, don't that's like my guy. That's you my don't guy. like basket mouth. Basket mouth. I just started with him like uh, I just hyped his show like 20 minutes ago. So you like him like that. Shout out to Basket Mouth. Basket Mouth is doing wonders. It's but there has to be a comedian you hate. Like you just look at him like, what the hell are you okay. doing? Bill Cosby disqualified. He's yeah, he's all the way over. He's in jail. He's locked up. Uh, I don't he has a blue passport. 
Mm. That's no, brilliant. No, no. But shout out to all the African comedians. Yeah. Well, you know what? Well, MCPC was... said he doesn't like African teddy bear. That's what he said. Oh! Somebody help him! Oh! Oh! He's a teddy bear! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I I, um, I, when I we love the African teddy bear. I thought it was in charge of security. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Somebody help! Shout out to African Teddy Bear for being a sport. That's not you. No, that's not me. <laughs> I'm coming as a guest. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Heaven's different, sir. <laughs> Heaven's <laughs> different. <laughs> Heaven's always on. Fire! Fire! Heaven's always got. Oh, I'm always let, ready let, let, let to go. Yeah, Oh, I, <laughs> yeah, right. it's hot in here. I, well, I mean, we're, we're making it hot. I, I, I know why. Aerodon. Aerodon. No, 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 you're not. Aerodon, what, what's the sexiest thing about African men? Honestly, it's the accent for me. <laughs> Which one? The Igbo accent? The Yoruba? The Hausa? Jesus, I didn't even know it was all those types of names. I'm learning. I don't have accent, though. Come on, baby. What? You wanted to be kissed, oh. Bring it on. Oh. Bring it on. Leg, leg. What's your accent called? You sound like this. Oh uh, well, I grew up in London. This one was right. a boutique. We have containers. Oh shoes. When I come, I come all the way. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're <laughs> sick with it. This one. You and came, and the man is conquering. He said, "Look, when I come, I'm sick, but it will heal you." Okay. Heal me. Oh, you have those types of powers. That's right. He's African. Oh. Shut up, yeah. Africans. Healing oh. power. Salute. Nigeria, all tribes. I've only met Nigerians too. I, I don't think I've met. That's Nigerians. because Nigerians are automatically international Africans. Okay. Anywhere we go, we blend in. We blend in. But we keep the roots. Yes. We keep the roots. We make sure that we're always eating jollof rice. <laughs> jollof rice. <laughs> Nigerian jollof rice. Yes, Nigerian, Nigerian. jollof rice, not Ghana jollof no, 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 rice. No, 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 no. Ghana, you're close, no. but you're second. We're, just, we're first. We're just all you. Oh, Ghana Jollof is Chinese. Oh! <laughs> Let's go to Chinese store. Can I get jo can I get rice? That's Ghana Jollof. <laughs> oh, you want the Ghana Jollof? No problem. That's all we got in here. <laughs> Come on, you know the facts. We are on the T Club. We went with the main man in the building. That's right. His name is Ali Baba. If you didn't know, he's the king of Afro comedy, and he's the king of all land. In the whole of Africa. That's right. If your daddy owns let, land, let me spill, Alibaba. Let me spill something on Yes, the, that's right. You spill. know, you know, a lot of people have been talking about uh, comedy, comedy, and they think that it's a white thing. Comedy is actually a black. Thing. That's right. Stand-up mm. comedy was brought by black slaves mm. into uh, into ev everywhere they went to. So those that came into America were held by slave masters. So they walk picking curtains and everything from morning till the evening. And when they gathered, don't forget that they were picked from different parts of the, of the, of the world. continent. Yeah. And so you had the Ashantis, the... Uh, the Yorubas. The Yorubas. The, the Igbos. The houses. The tea. Are you sure houses were Yes, yes. All of them. Yes. <laughs> a lot of them were tall. And that's where you get some of the basketballers from. And so they picked mm -hmm. all of them, put them in the... I mean, slave the, quarters. The, you know, in the slave ship and brought them here. But because they couldn't speak any language, any common language, they came together and started imitating the language of the white, which is where you got the broken and the pidgin English from. And That's so where you got the yo, yo. And, and Creole. And so as they did that, in the evening, they had to amuse themselves, which is where jazz music came from. They couldn't speak the language, but they could play the instruments. So they continued to play the instruments without saying anything. So one of them could just say, yo, 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 and then it would be the only chorus and refrain. And they continued like that. And the white people enjoyed it. 
And so people were coming from outside town to come watch them after this. And don't forget, there were some of them who had padlocks in the mouth. Yes, their mouths were locked. So that That's what answer, because they yes. talk too much. No, so they don't eat. Oh, sorry. Especially those ones that work in the sugar cane plantations. They didn't want them to eat the sugar cane, so they had their mouths padlocked. But in the right. evening, when the work was done, they removed the padlocks. On so now this is that's wrong. Right, that's now, what they did, and gradually they became so popular in the farm, mm. in the farmland, mm. and so most of the people who were going to pantomime and the theater to watch the drama and the English dances started going to the farms okay. to, to check out them. the slaves. To check out the slaves because their form of instrument. You didn't know that, huh? Was 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 out of the world. It was new. And so, learning history and so and when they went to those farmlands to see them the slave owners now started charging money so they would use the car to go bring people from outside the farms come to come to the watch show. them and so gradually theater owners saw that they were losing money yeah they were losing people who used to come guests to these farms and decided let's copy what they were doing and that was where they got the minstrels, the black minstrels from, that they paint their faces black as well. And they come on stage and perform like the blacks. Jesus. And gradually, they brought the stand-up comedy. My man's good! So they brought the stand-up comedy existed. that were in those slave camps to the theaters. Because their dances, they didn't have all the tap dancing. And but just tap dancing and all of those dances were from the African slaves. And that is how you go. And, and so how did you get stand-up comedy? So the white men, the slave owners would sit down and have all the black seat on the ground and ask them to stand up and tell us a story. And so the blacks would stand up and tell the story. If your story is good enough, you don't get the padlock back and you don't walk the next day. That's so awesome. Every black that had a story to tell was what did you call? You bring all kinds of the story of the tortoise, the hare, the elephant, everything. You just you continue to weave stories. Yeah. And you know, if your mouth is not locked. You're free to eat, you're free to speak. And that is how you got the Django movie. Because the guy that made his way into the house yeah. was one of those people who could then speak. Because if you can speak, you can pronounce some words and get to teach your children That's a lot of words. And teach them the white man's way. So those blacks that started a stand-up comedy were the ones that were painted like black minstrels. But when it was banned and it became um, unlawful, to have people paint themselves like blacks they now because slave trade was now abolished they now took blacks to perform make, uh, the money. make them yes and make the money and so the blacks we started stand-up comedy we started jazz music we started tap dancing we started everything, we started everything. Yeah. <laughs> that's right everything. you're chilling with that's right heaven moves on on the tea club i got vic slim i got sexy errol dawn that's right my new co-host and i got the king of africa of all your land in Africa, oh. of your daddy's house and your mommy's house. <laughs> that's right, of all land, that's oh, right. Yeah. The real president, Jeez. Alibaba, that's right. Only King the houses Friday. on the highlands, not the ones that Okay, only the houses, houses on the island, island. that's right. right. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break, pay some sponsorship, shout out to, that's right, the domain, new restaurant on lounge, that's right. I see you, Kevin C. Say, that's right, quick break, and we'll be back, that's sure. right. This show is sponsored by, that's right, the Afro Comedy Concert, which is happening this Sunday, this Sunday, at Swear. Baby's Premium. Make sure you're there. Shout to my main man. I was chilling with this guy last night, Afro B. This guy's fire. I'm chilling with stars this week. Yeah. I got celebrities in the building. I was chilling with Afro B last night. I'm chilling with Alibaba, the king of Africa. I'm rich, mommy. I'm rich. I made it. I made it. I have to say to him. Why don't you do a twerk? Why don't you do a twerk? Hey. Just a little slight. For the camera. For the audience. Nigeria's looking. Yeah, Nigeria's looking. Don't play with it, Nigeria. Strictly for the tea club. Jesus. Are we supposed to see? Of course. Oh, I'm welcome. <laughs> this is H time. We dance for money. Every time we dance, money comes out. And you are not part of hustle. I want it to be. 
Hustle couldn't afford you, everybody. Man, look at your boots, look at your gloves. Mommy came ready to drink tea. Oh, poke it out. I saw the future. Oh, I see it Where were you last night? We were chilling with Afro B. I know where Alibaba was. Alibaba was getting his beauty right. Simone, shout out to her. Happy birthday, to Simone. Simone, how like me? That's right. Come through. T Club. Elton's in the building. My new co host, Elton. So what? Is this official? Are you going to be here regular now? All right. We're back. My name is Heaven Moves. All right, that's right. Good afternoon, world. Good afternoon, Africa. Nigeria, stand up. That's right. Clean the poop from your mess. Let's do it like this. I got Fix Slim in the building. I got Alibaba. That's right. And I got Errol Thorne in the building. Alibaba's here in Houston. That's right. Houston is Little Africa. Alibaba's got a big show. Big show this Sunday. It's called, that's right. If you don't know. Big, yeah, it's a baby premium venue. It's called the Afro Comedy Concert. There's music, there's food, there's laughter. You can bring your kids, you can bring your wife, you can bring your second wife, and your third wife oh, too, third or your wife. tent. Oh, That's yeah. right. Or you could bring your sugar baby, like yeah. Aerodon. Aerodon, yes. are you going? Yes, I'm going. You're looking for a sugar daddy? Yeah. Just admit it. Yeah. Just admit it. If you put it yeah. out there, it'll You're come to you. If, very sure. That's to, right. To seek and you shall find. That's okay. right. Seek the sugar daddy and <laughs> find the sugar daddy. Who doesn't want sugar in their life? Why do you okay, find it? No, 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 no. no. Brown it's it's sugar. <laughs> Diabetes. Oh no, I ain't no diabetes. No, 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 no. She, no, no, she, like, <laughs> <laughs> she has the power. She has the right sugar intake. I got the power. <laughs> no, no, she got the insulin. Yes. <laughs> type one, type two. No, no, I need insulin right now. <laughs> All electrical foods over here. So these comedians right here, like awesome. you know, like I, I know MCPC. Shay Brown. Brown is there. Sh Shay Brown from LA. From LA. Shay Brown. Wami Lele. I've worked uh, with him before. Prof B. Prof B. Uh, Tenju Babyface. Tenju Babyface. Who's that? Is that the little girl? No, he's little, but he's not a girl. Oh, he's not. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Tenju. <laughs> the little one back here. Yeah, the girl. Yeah. Who's the little girl? The, the, the MCPC one. said this. Uh, that's uh, uh, what's the name again? Yeah. Baby, baby, baby prime. Baby, baby prime. prime. Optimus yeah. Prime. Yeah, baby Transform. Prime. Baby, baby prime. prime is coming through. Yeah. And, and, and the, the, song the show looks stacked. The show looks stacked. So how did how did MCPC get you to do? It? Was it like blackmail? Uh, <laughs> that always works. <laughs> I thought it was a check. I was like, no, 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 black, black blackmail about everything. We're putting you out there, mommy. <laughs> I'm gonna put you out there. He said, he said you either come or I talk. I said, yeah. Yeah. Are there any yeah. backstage passes? Oh yes. For groupies? Yes. For your ten girlfriends? You yes. Got no, no, no. Passes? They're all planning. They're selling tickets, right? They're oh, selling okay. tickets. Ah. Okay. Those are real wives. Yeah. Okay. Real wives of my of Houston. <laughs> Shout out to the real wives of Houston. They put them to work. That's right. <laughs> you have to end your upkeep. That's right. So what do you think about these young comedians, you know, like they're doing they're all awesome. this. They're awesome. You like them? Awesome. I like them. But you see what I notice is that you don't do I haven't seen like any crazy skits on Instagram for you like Every time I see you, you know, you're in front of CNN, you know, <laughs> in front of the president, yeah. King okay. Sultan there's, of there's, Brunei. There's no, need, there's no need to say what has been spoken. Well, well thank God for that. So, so, we I, will I, be I, on your level someday. <laughs> King of Africa and his royal subjects on the Tea Club. You know, because because like I like I tell someone, I said you won't see Jay Z on the subway rapping for coins. Okay. So. Woo. Uh, all you comedians just got Stop. shut down. Man doesn't ride the subway. Instagram's your subway. <laughs> That's right, you're finished. Stop <laughs> making subway jokes. No subway jokes. MCPC, the teacher, the ruler.
ruler, king of Africa, of all your daddy's land and your mother's land. Everything. Only on the island, though. That's right. Told you. Stop making subway jokes. Stop it. Stop it. But it fits some needs. It fits some needs. It fits some rise people? No, it needs. Some needs. Some, some need it. Some need that. Just, just, just as I say, if you're flying first class, ooh. And someone is flying economy. Oh, it doesn't good. mean that the person is not going somewhere. The same place. Going to the same place. Man's a philosopher. That's right. Man goes slaps, <laughs> and then he's got an education for you. <laughs> it reminds you of those school teachers. You know those school teachers in Nigeria. That's like, why did you get nine over ten? Here's some cane for your back. Pa, 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 pa. Now this is how you should do it next time. That Nigeria is brutal with the teaching. Do they still cane children there? Oh! All my Nigerian teachers that used to cane me. I mean, I, I, no, no, no. I mean, flog cane. Cane is pow, 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 pow. Flog is pow, pow. Oh, that's the difference. I get it now. All these Nigerian teachers flogging kids, they need to stop it. Man. They need to stop it. Like, I remember one time they flogged me so bad, like. It was, it was ridiculous. It's like, why? Like, what did I do? There was one time they flogged me. Saw so my shadow running. Wow! <laughs> shadow ran! Like, <laughs> I'm not taking this for you, Brad. <laughs> You're on your own, like, isn't it? My That's a spiritual. Oh boy, oh Nigerians and caning. You should please talk about that. So we can. Well, we can, we can, we can I'll talk about it. I have, yeah. I have about like um, 10 15 minutes jokes on, on caning because it's like I flogging, like, caning like, is just rampant. It's just I went like, to a military school, so I know. So you got caned like I a beast. Yeah. Command yeah. Command Did they Command step on your face? Did they step on your throat? Man, yo. They step on your pride. They step on everything. Like, you know, my go to line. Even, even with you wearing starch clothes, you'll be humbled. Mm. 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 The clothes mm. all stick to your body like <laughs> we just got trashed. <laughs> I always tell them, like, do you know who my dad is? That's what, that's my back. Do you know who my dad is? You will pay for this. I told, I told the teacher that. No. And he said, bring your dad, he will take some to Oh, teachers are ruthless. And then when my dad shows up, my dad's like Rambo, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then they're like, oh, yeah, calm down, mister, calm down. That's well, you don't have one of those fathers that comes and says, uh, what did he do? He mm. said he broke the window of the school. And my dad said, how many times did you flog him? Yeah, mm. no. Nah. Your dad would buy the food. My dad, he was just, my dad always likes to fight. He never got it out as a kid. So anytime he, anything happens, he just went, like one time there was no water, and then my dad went to get to uh, went to went to like a, a borehole to go get water like in the neighborhood, and he went with like the neighbor's son and stuff. And the neighbor's son like I was always a lazy kid. I was never like oh uh, heaven come over and come let's go fetch some water. I'd be like no I don't want to do that today. What do you want to do sleep? And then he went to fetch some water and then the kid came back like yo man your dad's crazy man your dad was standing in line and some guy just came in and your dad like side kicked him. I kicked him, beat him up, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my dad. That's right. My dad's like extremely violent. Random. You mess with him, like, just just step on his toe, like, oh, it's fight time. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Yeah. I'm not like that, though. I'm very peaceful. Oh, yeah. I can see. Oh, no. Yeah. no, no, no. Heavens. Erdogan, what about your dad? My dad is absolutely insane. Absolutely. Did he Perfect. smack you, too? Um, yeah, my daddy whooped, you know, he whooped my ass. Smack you behind the head? The show was not related. Huh? I said that too. No, the crazy Can you give a smack on your bum bum? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, Let no, me no, try. No. Let's stand up. Let's. No, stop it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you told your dad stop it. <laughs> I can't tell my dad that. Okay. Well, I actually made my dad cry. He whooped my ass so hard one time. Like the last time I got a, a beating, I didn't cry. He went downstairs and boo who cried himself because he just couldn't make me cry. But no, I have this story at school. This boy had like put, punched me in my stomach and I didn't tell the teacher anything. I was just chilling. I got in the car. I said, Daddy, this boy just punched me in my stomach. He said, what? What? He stopped the car in the middle of the highway. Got it, went back to the school, jacked the little boy up by his clothes. We took him to the principal office. They flogged, and then I went to an all black, like preparatory type school. Where was this school in Houston? It was in Lamarck, Lamarck, Texas. It was 
first in Tech City well, by Galveston. Okay, so I'm your dad Galveston. your dad didn't like anybody beating like you. Us. Oh yeah, no. He hates oh, no. competition, Dave. Oh. Oh, competition? Oh yeah, he's not. That's he's a very, little girl. He nice. beat the little boy and then took him to the principal. Made the principals beat him. It was hilarious. So how did the principal beat him? With a, with a huh, we had we had these thick ass wooden paddles. Listen to him. Um, <laughs> how you you stand to up. Let me do it for you. Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> for you. No. It's a big wooden. It works paddle. that way, better. It's, it's sweeter that way when I'm doing the cake. <laughs> so MCPC, what what can we expect from this Sunday? What can we expect? We're, we're going to get a huge dose of humor. We'll, we'll, we'll try and see how, we, and we have musicians performing as well. Uh, uh, what's the name? Baba is good the Yeah, I like Baba Tunde. He's good. Oh man, that guy. He's is, Afro. Is, man, yeah, he's, they're really good. Cool. I forgot what's the name of the band again. Uh, I forgot the name, but they're the really band? good. They're good. No, no, the the uh, the, uh, the, the gathering. Baba the gathering. Nah, shout out to the uh, gathering. Yeah. Shout out to the gathering. I'll see you Baba Tunde. Making things happen. That's right. And so, and so we're we're looking. And, and I, I really like the fact that this baby, the baby prime, was yeah, baby, baby premium, prime. baby premium. No, 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 no. Oh, baby, baby prime, baby, 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 baby. the little girl. The yeah, oh, baby, yeah, baby prime. Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard she's like twelve like, years old. I like old. the idea of having such yeah. young people embrace. Yeah, it's, um, humor, uh, it's inspiring. Yes, yes. It's inspiring to other kids too, and a lot of parents will be able to bring their kids out to experience that. That's and it also helps because uh, once you have children like that in the show, then the rating drops to PG. Oh, that's true. And ticket sales go up too. No, no, G. G. Ready to G. Straight. Look at Vic with the facts. Excuse me, Daddy. G. Can't be PG with a twelve-year-old. That's right. It goes to G. We wave at you. One of your many boyfriends. Stop it. Okay. Well, have not wave to Alibaba. That's the king of Africa. You're not going to see that every day. Just taking. Hey. Just taking. What's up? What's up, people? We're on the tea club. We're, we're getting saucy right now with Alibaba. That's right. The king of Africa. This man's rich. This man owns all your properties. This man owns America too. <laughs> so what do you think about all these young comedians that are coming out? You know, like I know it's encouraging, but some of them just you know what I don't like? Well, it's not like I don't like it, but it's like I just, I just don't have the stomach for it. Guys dressing up as girls in the Nigerian comedy. I just can't laugh about it. Oh, okay. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Any comedy. No, I, I know. I know. You know, it's it's um, an acting a fool. Like no, it's not a problem. problem. Yeah. Tyler Perry did it. Bought such a beautiful place. Ooh, well, you know, it fits Tyler Perry. I think well, you know, like, so, yeah. yeah. So, Tyler Perry, shout out to you. Keep on wearing the dress, bro. I'm sure you're gonna get a ring or a proposal someday. Someone, someone once said that Tyler Perry is funnier in a dress than in a suit. That's really? true. That's true. That's, I think Tyler Perry just so so. The same thing goes for these young comedians, the ones that want. Oh oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigerian comedians who like to wear dress, just stay it. You'll find a husband. You'll find a husband soon. They're coming. They're not coming for you. It'll probably be a woman dressed up as a man. That's right. You get it right. <laughs> <laughs> but advice though like you know because i look at comedy right now like afro comedy is so it's so invigorating it's so large and then you know you being a figure and then i was watching your interview on cnn and you were talking about how like you know the comedy clubs you know popping up in nigeria uh you know like i just didn't you know like you know when i was in nigeria i didn't see a sense of humor a sense of joking but now it's like you know with, with people like you and all the other comedians coming out it feels like you know like we can laugh a little bit about some of the nuances that uh, make up our lives when when i started in uh, 1988 uh, there were very few elements of stand-up comedy mm. and so it took about 10 years to get it into mainstream Took about 10 years to get it to mainstream and to begin to earn the kind of money that it deserved because everybody thought it was free they thought nobody needed to pay for it until they started seeing the value so what i understood was i started pushing it as a service and in any talent at all that you have until you begin to push it as a service and somebody needs it to fulfill a need nobody wants to pay for it they just treat it as a hobby of course so we continue to push that envelope and um, 
as soon as we got the ears of the government, they said pass on job and all the governors to buy in and use our services, every other person tried it. So it was, it was really an uphill task for about uh, 10 years. But within those 10 years, we were making good money, but people did not know. That as, as far back as 1996, I earned a million. Shout out to my man. Earning a million. Yeah, making it happen. In 1996, I just made a million. <laughs> I just made some people laugh and I just took home a million. And, That's right. And it was from a corporate entity, Guinness. Shout out to Guinness. So Cut me a check. <laughs> T Club, send us a check, Guinness. Guinness, send us a check. Say, say, say. Who just send us a check. Leg out. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Guinness. We're showing you out. That's right. Alibaba's here. Jeez. King of Africa. Alibaba says, I send us a check, check Guinness. Too, man. So, so, so that's that's how it is, and with with uh, with time and the freedom of the press and the democracy growing so much, uh, we became social critics. We became entertainers, really, in the main sense of the word. And uh, our lifestyle changed. We were living under the radar for a while, but these young comedians came and started living large. You know, we had to blend in as well because left for me. People will just see us as comedians and not know how well we do. But now you've got to show the big house. Now on the gram. Yes. <laughs> Stop it for the gram. Uh, no, no, but, but now we, we do it just to inspire a lot more people. Because you see, about like uh, three weeks ago, uh, someone won $3 million playing a computer game. Yeah, playing at uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, now you begin to 16. let people see mm. that going that way is proper. So you don't make it feel like the guy is a dropout, the guy is mm. not doing well, how could he not have gone to school? But this guy is playing a game on a computer system and winning $3 million. Shout out to all my Nigerian parents. Make sure your kids play video games. <laughs> get them PS4, get them, that's why yes, Nintendo. Any, make sure they're playing video games. Don't let them read any books. Because there ain't no money in that. Right. No, that's that's not, why video games are paying $3 have, million. Have a <laughs> Winner, three mil. Three mil. That's it. What about what about uh, Serena Williams? Just lots yes, of tennis. tennis. Yeah, just tennis. And, and you see the kind of money she wins, so that she's earned so much money than some accountants, engineers, lawyers put together. Doctors. I'm not talking about doctors for thirty years. And That's she's true. Still, and, and so we need to just continue to to encourage our children to pick up art, especially when it pays. You know. It, there are some people who were friends of Jay-Z, uh, friends of um, 50 Cent or all of them, who do not have the kind of life that they have now because they didn't go through, they didn't become accountants, they didn't become engineers. They went on the path of uh, entertainment and made good money. Mm. I, I was, I was uh, reading up on... Um, this man's a reader, a scholar, Jerry Seinfeld, Professor Ali Baba, King of all of Africa. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld is the off television for nearly twenty years, mm -hmm. and he's still one of the richest comedians because of royalties. Reruns. There are there are doctors who have resigned ten years now, still don't have the kind of money that this man has, has. So just for making people piss in their pants. Simon Cowell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just for organizing, making other people perform. Mm -hmm. it made so much money. And uh, people will still say, what are you going into showbiz for? And you can read your books, you have to be a lawyer. Read your books, you have to. There's a, there's a kind of money that, that some people mentioned that um, <coughs> now the Campbell charges. There's some girls who, uh, who have two degrees, they don't have it. Even PhDs, they don't have For now, I'm having to walk with no bra and panties. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. She's getting cream. And she gets bare minimum. Okay, sorry. She. she <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it! Mega! Now we can Now we can go. That's right. Holla at me, mommy. Cut us a check! <laughs> yes. Send all your money to the tea club right now yeah. on Alpha Rise yeah. Radio. <laughs> Just sign over your will. Just sign Heaven, Mozart, T Club, Afro Vibes. We'll take it. And the money she makes is not skin deep. No. It's 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 big it's big fat checks. Yeah. Shout out to all my entertainers who are doing it. 
And shout out for you, you know, being a pioneer and obviously leading the way. I mean, I really feel like um, you're, you're. Let me jump in. There are many doctors that don't insure their hands, surgeons that don't insure their hands, that the hands they work with. Yeah. Somebody insured her butt. Yeah, shout out to Jayla. That's Jayla. Yeah. Mm -mm. So he, shout out to Alex Rodriguez too. She insured her? No, 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 no. He's it's taking it's care of that husband. butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after, after, after baseball, after baseball, after baseball, man, taking care of it. After baseball, he went to the base. Oh, he went to the J Lo's base. Hit all kinds of home runs. Yes, right. Home runs. Home runs. But she still isn't pregnant yet, so I don't know what he's shooting. He hasn't hit it. Yes. So what? How old was um, Abraham's wife when she got right. pregnant? There you go. Anything's possible with Jesus. <laughs> Just say Jesus. Jesus, send us a check. Jesus, send us a check. Jesus, we're shutting you out right now. Send us a check. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lego. So what do you want? What do you want people? You know, obviously you're in America right now. You're doing your tour. What do you want? You know, like the young Africans, the young uh, future comedians. What do you want them to take from your performance uh, and your event that's happening on Sunday? Okay. You know, every time a comedian steps on stage, he chronicles the lives of the people that he's from. And so, if anybody wants to have a window into understanding a people listen to the jokes that we've done about them, about our fears, about our love, about our concern for life, about our, the things that make us happy, about um, how we treat relationships and all that. So you begin to have a window into that life. So what I want people to come see is a piece of Africa. And you get a piece from me, you get one from PC, you get one from Shea Brown, you get one from Guam By the time you put all of that together, you live with an experience that will last a lifetime. And those people are funny. <laughs> yes. You, 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 you made it so possible for them to come out and, uh, like, you were a great grandfather for them. I, yeah, I think I don't like that word grandfather. I didn't say that. That's fixed slip, Daddy. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just. That's right, not a game. That's King of Africa. Is it King? Like, you call like, him grandfather? Like, like, say no, no, that. Say no, that. Say no. that to make them. This man's You see the girls? No, no, no. You're not retired. I know. You're completely young. But I'm saying, like, you, you, yeah, you, you're the, you're the, you're the top. At the top of the top, and uh, you know, but, 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 but funny, so yeah. you, 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 you made it possible. There, there's, there's a guy, there's an American comedian that just passed on, uh, black Which comedian one? Dick Gregory. Dick Gregory, yeah, Dick but Dick Gregory, Gregory was, you know, like, was an was activist, and uh, he, 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 Dick Gregory was out there, he was he and uh, Red Fox, uh, they, 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 they did stand up comedy like way back when. There was no freedom of expression. So, like, like you heard the story about the Gregory going into a restaurant and wanted yeah. to eat, and they said blacks not allowed here. That well, anything, you, anything you do to that chicken will be done to you, and he kissed the ass of the chicken. Mm. So kiss my ass too, and they let him eat. Yeah. Shout out to Dick Gregory. That's right. Rest in peace Rest to in the peace legend. I like Dick Gregory too. Yeah. I like Dick Gregory. The yeah. man was a uh, man was amazing. Maybe I think like Bill Cosby Michael, would have been Michael Cooler. Who? Michael Cooler. Who's that one? He's another comedian who is uh, one of the greats too. Um, for me, you know, take away the excesses of Bill Cosby, he also created a lot of uh, jokes. Yeah, Bill was good too. Bill had Grammy Awards. Bill is still going. Now Bill's no, in jail. Not, no, no, we just said that. We just said minus what he did. Mm. It's great. For instance, for instance, we, we drive cars mm -hmm. of different. Somebody made d designed cars that we drive. You don't know the sexual preferences of those. People. That's true. Shout out to Luther Vandross. We didn't know your sexual preference. That's <laughs> 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 Like the rush. That's right. The rush. <clears throat> Dancing, my father. Yeah. 
Maybe that was why he wanted to dance with his father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Rest in peace to the. You wrong, man. No, 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 I haven't put it in my mouth. What? Why are you Blame no. everything on heaven. <laughs> we don't have any more time. This is our time. Phil's kicking us off the station. That's right. Phil's jealous that. That's right, the African king of comedy is in the building. Shoo! Alibaba, please tell everybody where they can find you right now, how they can get tickets to the show. Okay, my hotel room. Okay, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'd like that. The hotel room. <laughs> That's right. Come to the hotel room. Tell us the address. Jesus. <laughs> We're coming. Okay, no, go, go. That's tickets, right. Tickets, no, where? Okay, go, 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 go. Read it out. Read it out. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I forgot Vic doesn't know how to read. Read what? <laughs> what? 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 Wait. Wait. Oh, uh, 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 no, no. You got to say it in the sect. Look, the people all yeah, over the world, 180 it. countries, over 4 million subscribers, over 100,000 people in Houston are listening to you. Erdo, you got to make them. You got to make them. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, Lord of God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He will be. Alibaba will be mm -hmm. at Baby Premium Venue, mm -hmm. okay? That's on Bel Air Boulevard. That's mm. right. 11, ooh, that's a long number. Y'all just make sure y'all be there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the wrong number. So y'all just make sure y'all be there. We should there. just put that sticker all over, that, that whole fly all over your body right now. I think that'll help us out. And a lot more. Y'all make sure y'all come out and support. Let me see. Let's call us. Well. It's 1107 Bel Air Boulevard. That's not, that's not right. It's 111, so I'll just say it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cursing oh. on the radio. Oh, this is allowed. On the T-Tribe. 777. Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is... Brought to you by PC Entertainment, SK Entertainment, which is Shekwe Knight. It's an Afro comedy <laughs> concert. Nigeria King of Comedy, Alibaba, live in Houston. It's Sunday, 29th September. Baby Premium Venue. That's right. It's 11107 Bel Air Boulevard, Houston, Texas. That's right. You know the zip code. Red Carpet. That's right. Powered by Afro Vibes Radio. 6 p.m. Don't miss it. Main event is 7 p.m. The only man I'm coming there to see right now is MC. Well, it's the king of whole Africa. Doing one the whole Africa. Africa. One hour, thirty minutes for you. Yep. Uh, for just for you. For you. So how long is this? Yeah, the rest of it get five minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, King of so comedies you, here. So you Why don't you sit down, take five. him out? That's right. You're in the class the session. Is so you know, That's right. You're yeah. finished. They're done. <laughs> all of you are all of you just standing there. Like take lessons. Like Make sure you all come in your uniforms. Ladies in your pinafores too. That's right, school sandals butter. I've done six hours before on stage. Man's hot. Six hours? Yeah. Oh, this man. Wow. Oh. So I've done six hours and... Um, Man's got stamina. He's a stallion. African stallion. He's a strong. <laughs> Alibaba. That's right. Every man needs strong knees. Okay. That, ooh. It's a hot alley by my summer. We're signing out. This is a tea club. Shout out to all my ladies. That's right. Shout out to Alibaba. Alibaba, please give us your Instagram handle. 